do the resurrection. First the resurrection and the fathers. God and Master, you who surpass our understanding, who commanded the light to shine forth from the darkness. You blessed us with rest during the night that has passed, and now you have called us here to praise and invoke your goodness. Be moved by your own tenderness of heart, O Master. Accept us as we worship you this morning, as we give you thanks to the best of our ability, and grant that all that we need for salvation make us sons and daughters of the light and of the day, and heirs of your wondrous blessings and eternal life. Bless this day in the coming ordination to the diaconate of your servant, Stephan, so that ever safe and sound in soul and body, we may persevere with confidence in glorifying your wondrous and blessed name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. <clears throat> in the name of the Lord, Father, give the blessing. Blessed is our God, always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, our God. Glory to you. O heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who are everywhere present and fill all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and divide in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us, Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions, Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name. <coughs> Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who 
art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Through the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ Himself, our King and our God. Hearken, O Lord, to my righteousness, attend to my supplication, give ear to my prayer from lips free of deceit. Let my vindication come forth from your presence, let my eyes see righteousness. You have put my heart to the test, you have visited me in the night, you have tried me, and no unrighteousness has been found in me. Because of the word of your lips I have followed paths that are to us, and that my mouth might not speak in the manner of men. Uphold my steps in your pathways, that my footsteps may not slip. I have called upon you, for you have heard me, O God, and find your ear to me, and hear my words. Show the marvels of your mercy, saving those who open you from the adversaries of your right hand. Keep me, O Lord, as the apple of your eye, you will protect me in the shelter of your wings from the face of the ungodly who have oppressed me. My enemies have surrounded my soul, they have enclosed themselves in their own path, with their mouths they spoke proudly. They that cast me out have now surrounded me. They have inclined their eyes to look askance at the ground. They have taken me like a lion, ready to seize its prey, like a young lion lurking in secret places. Arise, O Lord, go out to meet them, cast them down, deliver my soul from the ungodly, your sword from the hand of your enemies. O Lord, separate the wicked during their lifetime from those who are least in the earth. From your hidden reserves, the bellies of the wicked are filled. They have been satisfied with sons, and they have bequeathed the rest of their substance to their babes. But as for me, I will appear before your face in righteousness, I shall be satisfied when your glory appears. To you, O Lord, I have lifted up my soul. O my God, in you I have put my trust. Let me never be put to shame. Nor let my enemies laugh me to scorn. Indeed, let none who wait on you be ashamed. Let those who are lawless without a cause be put to shame. Show me your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me, for you are my God and my Savior. For you I have waited all the day long. Remember, O Lord, your tender mercies and your loving kindness, which are from everlasting. Remember not the sins of my youth, nor my transgressions committed at home. According to your mercy, remember me for your goodness sake, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord, therefore he will set a law for sinners in the way. The meek he will guide in justice, and the humble he will teach his ways. All the paths of the Lord are mercy and truth to such as seek his covenant and his testimonies. For your name's sake, O Lord, pardon my iniquity, for it is great. Who is the man that fears the Lord? For him shall he set the law in the way that he has chosen. His soul shall abide in prosperity, and his descendants shall inherit the earth. The Lord is the strength of those who fear him, and he will show them his covenant. My eyes are ever looking toward the Lord, for he shall pluck my feet out of the snare. Look upon me and have mercy on me, for I am only begotten and poor. The sorrows of my heart are multiplied, bring me out of my distress. Behold my humility and my travail, and forgive all my sins. Consider my enemies, for they are multiplied, and they have hated me with an unjust hatred. Keep my soul and deliver me. Let me not be put to shame, for I have set my hope in you. The innocent and the upright have joined themselves to me, for I have waited for you, O Lord. Redeem Israel, O God, out of all his troubles. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy, according to the multitude of your tender mercies. Blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my wickedness and cleanse me from my sin, for I know my transgression and my sin is ever before me. Against you only have I sinned and done this evil in your sight, that you might be justified in your sentence and vindicated when you are judged. For behold, I was conceived in iniquities and in sins did my mother bear me. For behold, you have loved truth and the hidden and secret things of your wisdom you have revealed to me. Sprinkle me with this, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. 
Make me to hear joy and gladness. My humble throne shall rejoice. Turn your face away from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me with your governing spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your ways and the ungodly shall turn back to you. Deliver me from the guiltiness of God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of your righteousness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise, for if you have desired sacrifice, I would have given it. With full burnt offerings, you will not be pleased. A sacrifice to God is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart of God, you will not despise. Do good, O Lord, to Zion, and your good pleasure in the walls of Jerusalem will be built. Then you will be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, the oblation of all for offerings. Then they shall offer your clothes on your altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and then to ages and ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory be to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory be to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory be to you, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Let us faithful praise and worship the word, O eternal, with the Father and the Spirit, who is born for the birth of the Virgin for our salvation. He will to be lifted up onto the cross in the flesh to endure death and to raise the dead by his glorious resurrection. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Great are the accomplishments of faith, for the three holy youths rejoice in the fountain of flames as though in the waters of rest. And the prophet Daniel appeared, a shepherd to the lions, as though they were sheep. So by their prayers, O Christ, God, save our souls, now and ever, and then to ages and ages. Amen. O Lord, of you are the true vine, who has brought forth the fruit of life for us. We entreat you, O sovereign lady, and you see, together with the holy apostles and all the saints, that you may be merciful to our souls. Blessed be the Lord God, blessed be the Lord from day to day, the God of our salvation shall prosper us. Our God is the God of salvation. <coughs> holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us, Lord, cleanse us from our sins, master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. That is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O thrice blessed ones, you did not worship the image made by man, but armed with the invisible power of God, you were glorified in the trial by fire. From the midst of unbearable flames. Rejoice, O Bethlehem, prepare yourself, O Ephrathah. The lamb is on her way to give birth to the chief shepherd she carries in her womb. The God bearing forefathers will rejoice, beholding him, and with the shepherds, they will glorify the virgin, nursing him. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. 
calls all men to salvation through the promise of blessings to come. Accept, O Lord, our prayers at this hour and direct our lives according to your commandments. Sanctify our souls, cleanse our bodies, order our minds, purify our thoughts, and deliver us from all affliction, evil, and sickness. Help us us about with your holy angels that guarded and guided by their legions we may reach unity of faith and the knowledge of your unapproachable glory. For you are blessed unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without defilement, you gave birth to God, the word of truth, and of hope we magnify you. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. Through the prayers of our Holy Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us. Amen. O God and Master, Father Almighty, O Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of the Holy Spirit, one God and one power, have mercy on me, a sinner, and according to your judgment, save me, my good servant. For you are blessed unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. Save me, O God, by your name, and judge me by your strength. Hear my prayer, O God, give ear to the words of my mouth. For strangers have risen up against me, and the mighty who have not set God before their eyes sought after my soul. Behold, God helps me, and the Lord is the protector of my soul. He will bring evils upon my enemies, utterly destroy them in your truth. Readily will I offer you sacrifice, I will give thanks to your name, O Lord, for it is good. For you have delivered me out of all my troubles, and my eye has looked in triumph upon my enemies. Give ear to my prayer, O God, and reject not my petition. Attend to me and hear me. I was grieved in my tribulations, and I was troubled because of the voice of the enemy, because of the oppression of the wicked. They have brought down iniquity upon me, and in wrath have they hated me. For my heart was troubled within me, and the terrors of death have fallen upon me. Fear and trembling have come upon me, and the darkness is overwhelming. And I said, Who will give me wings like a dove, so that I can fly away and be at rest? Yea, I have fled far away, and have dwelt in the wilderness. I waited for God, who delivers me from faint hardiness and from the tempest. Drown them, O Lord, and divide their tongues, for I have seen iniquity and strife in the city. Day and night they go round about on its walls. Iniquity, suffering, and unrighteousness are in the midst of it. Usury and deceit do not depart from its streets. For if an enemy had reproached me, then I would have endured it. And if he who had hated me had magnified himself against me, then I would have hidden myself from him. But it was you, a man, my equal, my guide, and my unfamiliar friend. We feasted together in harmony, and with one accord we walked in the house of God. Let death come upon them, and let them go down to hell alive, for wickedness is in their dwellings and among them. I called to God, and the Lord heard, heard me. Evening and morning and at noon I will pray and cry aloud, and he will hear my voice. He has delivered my soul in peace from those who opposed me, for there were many against me. God will hear and humble them, even he who is before the ages. Because they have not feared God, there is no change in them. He has stretched forth his hand in vengeance. They have defiled his covenant. They were scattered by the wrath of his countenance, and their hearts were hardened. Their words were smoother than oil, and yet they are arrows. Cast your sorrows on the Lord, and he will sustain you. He will never permit the righteous to be shaken. But you, O God, will bring them down to the pit of corruption. <coughs> Men of blood and treachery shall not live out half their days, but I, O Lord, will hope in you. He who dwells under the protection of the Most High shall abide in the shelter of the God of heaven. He will say to the Lord, You are my refuge and my stronghold, my God in whom I will hope. For he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from troubling words. With his feathers he will overshadow you, and under his wings you will have hope. As with a shield his truth will encompass you. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor that that which walks in darkness, neither the pestilence nor the demon of new day. A thousand may fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes you shall look and see the reward of the wicked. For you, O Lord, are my hope, you have established the most high as your habitation. Evil shall not come near you, nor scourge from near your dwelling. For he will give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You will tread upon the viper and the adder, the lion and the dragon you will trample underfoot. Because he has set his hope upon me, I will deliver him. I will protect him, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will hear him. I will be with him in trouble, I will deliver him and glorify him. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory be to you, O God. 
Hallelujah, 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 glory be to you, God. Hallelujah, 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 glory be to you, God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Make ready, O Bethlehem, for Eden hath been opened for all. Prepare, O Ephrathah, for the tree of life has blossomed forth in the cave from the virgin. For her womb did appear as a super sensual paradise, in which is planted the divine plant, whereof Eden and who shall live and not die as Adam. Verily, Christ shall be born, raising the likeness that fell of old. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. As we have no boldness because of the multitude of our sins, a virgin Theotokos, intercede with him who was born of you, for much more are the supplications of a mother able to incline the master to kind heartedness. Despise not the prayers of sinners, O all pure one, for he who condescended to suffer for us is merciful and strong to save. Let your tender mercies quickly go before us, for we have become exceedingly poor. Help us, O God of our Savior, for the sake of your glory of your name. O Lord, deliver us and cleanse us from our sins for your name's sake. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. I have the kingdom, the power, the glory, and the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Today the virgin proceeds to the cave where she will give birth past understanding to the word from all eternity. Rejoice, O universe, when the tidings are proclaimed. Glorify with the angels and shepherds the one who has chose to be manifest as a newborn child <coughs> while remaining the eternal God. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. O Christ God, worship and glorified at every season and in every hour in heaven and on earth, long suffering, deeply compassionate, and greatly merciful who loves the just and shows mercy upon the sinners, who calls all men to salvation through the promise of blessings to come. Accept, O Lord, our prayers at this hour and direct our lives according to your commandments. Sanctify our souls, cleanse our bodies, order our minds, purify our thoughts, and deliver us from all affliction, evil, and sickness. Compass us about with your holy angels that guided, guarded and guided by the legions we may reach unity in the faith and the knowledge of your unapproachable glory for your blessed unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without the Father, to give birth to God the Word, to Theotokos, we magnify you. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, the Lord Jesus Christ, our God, mercy upon all. Amen. O God, the Lord of hosts and fashioner of all creation, who in your incomparable incom tender mercy, Sent down your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, for the salvation of our time, and through his precious cross tore up the handwriting of our sins, thereby triumphing over the principalities and powers of darkness. O Master and lover of mankind, accept these prayers of thanksgiving and supplication from us sinners, and deliver us from every deadly and dark transgression, and from all visible and invisible enemies who have sought to do us harm. Nail our flesh with the fear of you, and let not our hearts incline to evil words or thoughts. But wound our souls with your love that ever gazing upon you, guided by your light and beholding you, the eternal light that no man can approach. We may send up unceasing praise and thanks to you, the Father without beginning, together with your only begotten Son and your all holy good and life creating spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. The prophets were told of your coming, O Lord, of your incarnation, of the birth from the pure virgin. They foretold in signs and symbols and shadows, the one who fulfilled their needs. Therefore, we, the people of God, who anticipate your coming, pray out to you, Jesus Emmanuel, and come and fill us with the joy of your presence. Jesus Emmanuel, come and fill us with the joy of your presence. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Everything on the earth was shapeless and without form. Darkness. 
harmlessly over all the deep, and the Spirit of God moved over the waters. And God said, Let there be light. And he saw that everything he made was good. Through his word he created the sky and the waters, the fruit trees and the seed-bearing plants. He fixed the heavens with the sun, the moon, and the stars. The birds of the sky and all creatures in the water were made by his command. The beauty of creation and the wisdom of God caused us to glorify our Creator in these words of praise. Jesus the Lord, who, how magnificent are all your works. Jesus the Word, all things in heaven and on earth were created through you. Jesus, eternal God, the heavens declare the vastness of your love. Jesus, the true light, the moon, and the stars light up the sky with wonder. Jesus, the enlightener, you illuminate us with the warmth of the sun. Jesus, the spotless one, all things are held together in your hands. Jesus, the mystery of faith. <coughs> A natural order has its genesis in you. Jesus, Emmanuel, come and fill us with the joy of your presence. Jesus, Emmanuel. Your hands guard all things, O Master. All beings, both small and large, have their origin in you. You taught us to love the beauty of this world and recognize your image and likeness in our neighbor. From the depth of our hearts, we offer you our song and prayer singing. Alleluia. God poured man from the dust of the earth and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. You placed him in the garden of delight and endowed him with the power of free will. He chose to disobey you, the author of life, and brought sin and corruption into the world. Acknowledging his sin, Adam, our first parent, cried out in words like these. Jesus, offer of freedom, loosen my bonds. Jesus, the true life, enlighten me dead in my sin. Jesus, my shepherd, save me, for I am lost. Jesus, true God, create a new heart within me. Jesus, my liberator, smash the iron fetters that bind me. Jesus, my Savior, lift me up from this cast down. Jesus, the joy of all joys, touch me with your life, life-giving hand. Jesus, Emmanuel, come and fill us with the joy of your presence. Jesus, Emmanuel. jealousy and drenched the land with innocent blood. The Creator exiled him from the land because of the sin of murder, and he became a vagabond roaming the earth. But fearing his own demise and retaliation, the Lord promised to take vengeance on who, whoever would kill Cain. Then Cain was banished from the presence of the Lord, not knowing how to sing. Alleluia. of the inhabitant world, the, the God-loving Noah listened to the voice of the Lord and built an ark to save himself and his family from impending destruction. He gathered into the ark two of every kind of animal and bird to re-inhabit the world. After the 40-day flood, he opened the window and sent out a dove to find dry ground. The tiny creature returned safely with the twig of an olive branch, and Noah exclaimed joyfully, Jesus, Son of God, let me know your saving power. Jesus, our high priest, you reconciled us to the Father. Jesus, our shepherd, grant your church unity of faith. Jesus, my salvation, let me be buried with you in holy baptism. Jesus, the light, you are the fulfillment of the Father's promise. Jesus, my refuge, keep me safe from all harm. Jesus, my life, wash me with the waters of gladness. Jesus, Emmanuel, come and fill us with the joy of your presence. Jesus, Emmanuel. descendants, the land of Israel, and blessed him, saying, I will be with you and watch over you wherever you go. When he awoke from his dream, he called the ground, the house of God, and cried out with a loud voice, Hallelujah.
Abraham cried out in thanksgiving, Jesus, the only begotten of the Father, fill me with the virtue of obedience. Jesus, the provider of good things, grant me true conviction of faith. Jesus, my hope, help me holy Jesus. Jesus, eternal helper, may I love you every moment of the day. Jesus, unfailing advocate, never put me to shame. Jesus, innocent lamb, let me imitate you. Jesus, the giver of blessings, bless me with the inheritance of heaven. Jesus, Emmanuel, come and fill us with the joy of your presence. Jesus, Emmanuel.
Jesus, my life, resurrect my soul. Jesus, my joy, do not cast me away from you. Jesus, my support, lift me up when I am broken down. Jesus, the way to show me the road to salvation. Jesus, my friend, let me stand together with you. Jesus, rock of faith, I have my foundation in you. Jesus, bread of life, sustain me with your body and blood. Jesus, Emmanuel, come and fill us with the joy of your presence. Jesus, Emmanuel, come and fill us with the joy of your presence. David, the psalmist, <clears throat> sang hymns of praise while anticipating your coming, O Christ. Because of your temple in Jerusalem, kings shall bring presents to you. Today we do not offer you gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh, as did the Magi, but rather commend our lives completely to your holy will by crying, Alleluia. Approaching the end of his life, David, the ancestor of the Lord, appointed his son Solomon to erect the temple in Jerusalem. The people came forward offering gifts of gold, silver, jewels, and the like. With great wisdom and skill, the house of God was built and dedicated with much solemnity. The sacred Ark of the Covenant, which contains the commandments, the man, and Aaron's staff of God, was carried in procession into the Holy of Holies, while the priests and the people glorified God, saying, Jesus, most holy, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Jesus, most beautiful, may we serve you with all our hearts. Jesus, the cornerstone, you hold all things together in your spotless hands. Jesus, the glory of God, your magnificence marvels the human mind. Jesus, the chief architect, bless every church constructed in your holy name. Jesus, guide to pilgrims, show us the road that leads toward your kingdom. Jesus, quick to hear, fulfill the requests offered to you in love. Jesus, Emmanuel, come and fill us with the joy of your presence. Jesus, He saw the mystical gate of the temple and looked toward the east, which can never be opened. The prince alone entered by the gate and proceeded out the same way. Marveling at the sight of God's mercy toward us, the company of prophets sing in unified voice, Alleluia. Alleluia. Bethlehem during harvest time to Boaz's field to glean ears of corn which had been left behind by the reapers. Boaz ordered his laborers not to interfere with their work because she was under the protection of the heavenly God. He later asked Ruth to be his wife, and their name was famous in Bethlehem because of their descendants who raised their voices to their creator, saying, Jesus, divine harvester, fill us with your abundance. Jesus, creator of all, your wisdom beyond understanding. Jesus, source of blessing, shower us with heavenly grace. Jesus, our God, be with us wherever we go. Jesus, giver of life, protect us from every foe. Jesus, root of Jesse, bind our families to the union of love. Jesus, incarnate one, have mercy on us. Jesus, Emmanuel, come and fill us with the joy of your presence. Jesus, Emmanuel, come and fill us with the joy of your presence. steadfast in his convictions, even though his family and friends told him to renounce the living God. The Almighty appeared to God in the midst of the world, turned his sorrow into joy, and restored his health and riches. With thanksgiving to the Redeemer and a humble spirit, Job dubiously prayed to God, Alleluia. Samuel told the people that the Lord would spare them if they worship the one true God alone. They fasted, prayed, and confessed their sins. Then a terrible thunderstorm fell upon the Philistines, filling them with fear, and they were defeated. When the ark was returned to Israel, they raised their voice to God, saying words like these, Jesus, Son of Righteousness, we consecrate ourselves to you. Jesus, Omnipotent One, let us never forsake you. Jesus, our strength, be with us in time of temptation. Jesus, powerful one, in our affliction, rescue us. Jesus, just judge, do not judge us according to our deeds. 
Jesus always help us discern your will. Jesus, salvation of the world, cleanse us from all impurity. Jesus, Emmanuel, come and fill us with the joy of your presence. Jesus,
Receive now the fervent supplication of your unworthy servants. Deliver us from all visible and invisible danger, and rescue those who cry out to you. Alleluia. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Everything on the earth was shapeless and without form. Darkness lay over the deep, and the Spirit of God moved over the waters. And God said, Let there be light. And he saw that everything he made was good. Through his word he created the sky and the waters, fruit trees and all seed-bearing plants. He fixed the heavens with the sun and the moon and the stars. The birds of the sky and all creatures in the water were made by his command. The beauty of creation and the wisdom of God causes us to glorify our creator in these words of praise. Jesus the Lord, how magnificent are your works. Jesus the word, all things in heaven and on earth were created through you. Jesus, eternal God, the heavens declare the vastness of your love. Jesus, the true light, the moon and the stars light up the sky with wonder. Jesus, the enlightener, you illuminate us with the warmth of the sun. Jesus, the spotless one, all things are held together in your hands. Jesus, the mystery of faith, the natural order has its genesis in you. Jesus, Emmanuel, come and fill us with the joy of your presence. Jesus,
Zapovedi, zapovedite, zapovedi preosrećeni vladiko za ovoga koji mi se sada predlaže. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and we will say Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord our God, who through the one and same Holy Spirit distributes gifts of grace to each one whom you have chosen, who have given to the church different orders and have established different degrees of ministry, therein for the service of your holy and pure mysteries, and who through your ineffable foreknowledge have ordained this, your servant, Stefan, worthy to serve in your holy church. Preserve him, Lord, uncondemned in all things. Grant that he may love the beauty of your house, standing before the doors of your holy temple and lighting the lamps of the dwelling place of your glory. Plant him firmly in your holy church like a fruitful olive tree, bringing forth the fruits of righteousness. Make him your perfect servant at the time of your second coming, that he may receive the reward of those who are pleasing in your sight. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, everyone say Amen. 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 Holy, holy, holy Lord God of Sabaoth, heaven and earth are filled with your glory, Osana in the highest. Axios. Axios. All the faithful draw near. Sibeni pristupite. Son, now Sadiqan, Stefan, it is with great joy that we begin this day of ordination by elevating you to the rank of a subdeacon. You see that it is an unusual fashion in which the orarian is placed around you. Instead of being placed around your shoulders and chest in service to the Lord, it is tied around your waist. We do this in our church because it signifies the fact that you have entered into this rank already being a reader of Christ's holy church and now you are preparing to leave this rank so that you may enter into the holy diaconate and so it is a sign that your service as a subdeacon has begun and concluded with this holy elevation for that reason 
the orion is tied as such. Your head is now covered with the towel that you use to dry my hands following the washing of the hands for the simple reason that you are now being prepared as the holy gifts which are being prepared to be given in sacrifice to the Lord. From this day forward, your life will no longer be merely your life. It will no longer be your life together with your wife, Marina, that your life will be part of a community, a community in which you are called to serve and to serve faithfully. May the Lord God bless you. May he bless and direct your footsteps unto his service. And may you enter into the glory of your Lord. Amen. <coughs> Let your light shine in front of the people, that they may see your good works and give glory to our Father who are in heaven, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Lord, 
faithful to only give them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. For seasonable weather, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. For travelers by land, by sea, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and give us, O God, by thy breath. Lord have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious, may it help all who sit in our
your most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious lady, thou glorious and ever to marry with all the saints.
Oh, 
Hymenon in the fourth tone. Blessed art thou, O Lord God of our fathers, and raised and glorified is thy name forever. Blessed art thou, O Lord God of our fathers, and raised and glorified is thy name forever. For thou art just in all that thou hast done for us. Blessed art thou, O Lord God of our fathers, and raised and glorified is thy name forever. Blessed art thou, O Lord God of our fathers, and raised and glorified is thy name forever. Wisdom. The reading is from the Holy Epistle, the Epistle of the Holy Apostle Paul. Brethren, by faith Abraham sojourned in the land of promise as in a foreign country, dwelling in tents with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs of him with him of the same promise. For he waited for the city which has foundations, whose builder and maker is God. By faith Abraham, when he was tested, offered up Isaac. And he who had received the promises offered up his only begotten son, of whom it was said, In Isaac your seed shall be called. Accounting that God was able to raise him up even from the dead, from which he also received him in a figurative sense. By faith Isaac blessed Jacob and Esau concerning things to come. By faith, Jacob, when he was dying, blessed each of the sons of Joseph and worshipped, leaning on the top of his staff. By faith, Joseph, when he was dying, made mention of the departure of the children of Israel and gave instructions concerning his bones. By faith, Moses, when he was born, was hidden three months by his parents because they saw he was a beautiful child and they were not afraid of the king's command. And what more shall I say? For the time would fail me to tell of Gideon and Barak and Samson and Jephthah, also of David and Samuel and the prophets, who through faith subdued kingdoms, worked righteousness, obtained promises, stopped the mouths of the lions, quenched the violence of fire, escaped the edge of the sword, out of weakness were made strong, became valiant in battle, turned to flight the armies of the aliens. Women received their dead, raised to life again, and others were tortured, not accepting deliverance, that they might obtain a better resurrection. Still others had trial of mockings and scourgings, yes, and of chains and imprisonment. They were stoned, they were sawn in two, were tempted, were slain with the sword. They wandered about in sheepskins and goatskins, being destitute, afflicted, tormented, of whom the world was not worthy. They wandered in deserts and mountains, in dens and caves of the earth, and all these, having obtained a good testimony through faith, did not receive the promise. God, having provided something better for us, that they should not be made perfect apart from us. Peace be unto you, Deborah. And your spirit, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah.
tidings of great power unto the fulfillment of the gospel of his beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Wisdom, let us let us listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be unto all of you.
Son, and of the holy and life-giving Spirit. Amen. Amen. Most beloved Mother Christophora, together with your sisterhood in Christ, most beloved in our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ, what an, I must say, unexpected joy it is on this day with the blessings of His Eminence, Archbishop Nathaniel, and the gracious invitation of Mother Christophora to come and to serve so that I can ordain on this day through the laying on of hands, Stefan, who is now, one might say, in our Serbian way of thinking, the son-in-law of this monastery, as he is married to Marina, who might be considered and truly a daughter of this monastery. What a joy it is to be able to serve here for the first time as the celebrant of the Holy Mysteries, in the presence of Mother Alexandra and Father Thomas Hopko, who are here buried in the cemetery. Although they repose, for us in Orthodox Christianity, repose is not a passive verb. It is indeed an active verb, because as Sunday, the day of rest, our new Sabbath implies, when we rest, we worship. In order to worship, we must pray. And so they vigilantly pray for us. And for me, this is a particular source of joy for two very good reasons. One, Mother Alexandra, the former Princess Iliana, is the sister of the late Queen Marie of Yugoslavia, perhaps the most beloved queen to have ever reigned on Serbian soil, and she is remembered today as the Queen Mother of the Serbian people. And so as a people, we are indeed bound to you, to your founders. On the other hand, Father Thomas was a beloved professor of dogmatic theology, and he taught us all very much, for he had a unique way of being able to teach that which was implied and not spoken. And that is what helped us to open up to the faith. And as you see, my beloved, how did we begin the readings of this day? With an epistle lesson that speaks about what? Faith. Why faith? The faith of so many that were mentioned, because without faith, we cannot come to the nativity of Christ. Without faith, we cannot prepare our hearts to be the manger of that cave in which Mary laid her son. Without faith, we cannot obtain salvation. What is faith for us, and in particular, faith in advance of the nativity of Christ? It is the following. When we were infants, when we were children, before we acquired the so-called age of reason, we had a remarkable sense of intuition. A child is like a sponge, is it not? It absorbs everything that comes its way. And when we speak about learning something from memory, what do we say in the English language? To learn by heart. Why? Because that child learns with its heart, through its intuition, and not by its rational mind. That is why a child is capable of so easily learning languages without anyone having to explain what is a verb, an adverb, an adjective, and so on. It simply knows. Its intuition has done all of that for it. And St. Gregory of Nyssa even states the following, that have you ever watched a child play in its crib? It plays with its feet, with its hands, it smiles, it's talking, it's laughing. Why? Because that child can see its guardian angel much as Mother Alexander was privileged, a rare privilege among those who have acquired rational self, that is to see her guardian angel. This is something I learned from Father Thomas Hopko about Gregory Nisa and children. And we lose that ability when our rational self takes over. But then we have to spend the rest of our life 
trying to regain the faith of that child because we are told by St. Paul, unless you have the faith of a child, you will not enter into the kingdom of heaven. And yet, are we not admonished to make sure that we acquire the faith of a child and not childishness? There is a substantial difference. So to help us with our faith, with our comprehension of the faith which has been handed to us as the most precious diadem, on this Sunday before the Nativity, we heard this remarkable gospel of the genealogy of Jesus Christ. I love this Sunday. I love it because as a little child, I remember a woman who was a convert to Orthodoxy, had married a Serbian man, and she always told me how I love this Sunday. I wait all year for this Sunday. And I would ask her, why is it because of the anticipation of Christmas? Yes, but it is that gospel that I look forward to all year round. Why? Because of those names. Did she know who those names were? Absolutely not. Many of us have no idea who most of those people were in that genealogy, but yet that woman's heart, her faith, spoke up. Her intuition was once again reactivated, and she knew somehow that simply by listening to those names, she was on her way to salvation, on her way to receive the Christ child. And now we have a choice. We can look at this gospel very mathematically in terms of Hebrew mathematics and the Hebraic understanding of math as symbols, or we can look at it through the eye of faith. Let's begin with that which is easiest. How do we look at it mathematically? You know that in the Hebraic numerology, each number has a spiritual meaning, and we know many of them what they mean. We heard today of three sets of generations. The three is obviously for us the Holy Trinity. It is a salvific number. Every time that in the Slavic tradition we ask for help, we ask three times because we want God to hear, because there are three persons in the Holy Trinity. As the saying goes in Russian, Troye nas, Troye vas, Gospodi pomilu nas. Three of you, three of us, Lord have mercy on us. And that is how we pray. Three, so we have three groups of generations. Each generation has how many? Each group has how many generations? 14. What does the number 14 mean? You have to take two numbers and multiply them. The number seven is the number that everyone knows is how many days it took the Lord to enact creation. Seven days. Then the number two, the two natures of Jesus Christ. Perfect God, perfect man, one person, the divine human, Jesus Christ. And so 14 is an indication that God is going to become man, God and man, two natures times that which it took for God to create the world, seven of his days which remain unknown to us, but the number remains which is very important to us. <laughs> and those generations, as we heard, were from Abraham to David, David to Babylon, Babylon, the captivity, to the birth of Christ. What does that mean? To begin with, Abraham indicates that Christ's humanity is a real humanity. He was not a phantom being that somehow clothed himself in mere flesh. He was real. He was divine. He was human. Perfect God, perfect man, one person, Jesus Christ. And that begins with Abraham, because Abraham is our father in common. So Christ truly becomes one of us. This is vital. Two, and especially unique because of who you are as a cherished sisterhood and the foundations of this very monastery, beginning with Princess Ileana, come Mother Alexandra, David. Jesus Christ is a king. He comes from royal lineage. And that is why Herod sought to destroy him 
once he heard that the wise men were following the star to the newborn king. And so there is a royal dimension to him. We hear the name Zadok, Zadok the great high priest. Even to this very day when the kings and queens of Britain, Great Britain are crowned, they enter the church to the music of Zadok the king because it is an essential part of their ministry that the Zadok the priest, that the king also has to be a high priest, you see. And so for that reason, we come to understand Christ as a priest. And then there is bondage. What is important about bondage for us? Bondage, we all understand that it becomes a state of being. It's not merely physical bondage, but it is bondage to sin and to this world, which is a passing world. And so we all need to liberate ourselves so that we can come to Christ following captivity. And so having liberated ourselves, we come to Christ. But then, the most remarkable dimension of this genealogy is the fact that for the first time ever in Hebraic reckoning, we have the name of two women entering into a genealogy. One, in fact, by name, and the other not even mentioned because of the illegitimacy of her marriage. She's only spoken of as the wife of Uriah, not even of the man that she was with when she gave birth to her son. And the other, importantly for all of us, is Ruth, <clears throat> someone who is from a distant land in Hebraic understanding of another people and of a different faith, a convert in modern day terminology. But above and beyond all of that, both of them are women. How remarkable it is that Jesus Christ, by virtue of his incarnation, everything that we had held up until his birth is all of a sudden shattered if it is not part of our salvation and necessary for us. And so truly, his incarnation declares that there is no difference, as St. Paul would say, between a Hebrew and a Greek, between a man and a woman. All are one in Jesus Christ. So Christ has come to us as the one who is to reconcile all of humanity, regardless of who they are in life, regardless of the life that they led, regardless of whether they are male or female, all are reconciled unto Jesus Christ. And that is the greatest sign of hope for this world that we truly can be saved only if we so desire. And how do we become saved? The final missing ingredient in all of this is that we have gone from our intuition to faith. Faith brings us to knowledge, and where does knowledge take us? But to the knowledge of God. And in Slavonic it is called Bogopoznanie. It is the understanding of God, meeting God, introducing ourselves to God, as it were. And how wonderful this is because this is the purpose of our life. This is why we were created, beloved. This is why Christ, who created us, became a man. And at once, all of creation stopped. There is even an apocryphal account of Joseph, whose faith was truly tested with the birth of Christ, looked around, and he saw birds stop in flight, men and women stop the animals frozen at that moment when Jesus Christ was born because this world had to instantaneously change so that it could prepare itself to receive its very creator now in the flesh of a man, the incarnation. And may our Lord in Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit always be with you always guide you and always protect you from this day of our joyous encounter until that final and all-glorious day when we shall encounter Christ 
in his kingdom of heaven. And until then, this liturgy is for us that very kingdom. God bless you and keep you well for many years to come. Amen. Amen.
grant them to worship you blamelessly with fear and in love, and to partake without condemnation of your holy mysteries, and to be accounted worthy of your heavenly kingdom. <clears throat> that, Lord, in all ways, by your might, we may spread glory unto you, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages.
Toto, Deacon, Gregory, and all of those whom we have commemorated at today's Holy Oblation or mentioned in today's Holy Liturgy. May the Lord God remember them in his heavenly kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. You and all of us Christians, may the Lord God remember in his heavenly kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages. And he was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, and suffered and was buried. And on the 
the third day he rose again, according to the scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of the Father, and he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets, in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us stand aright. Let us stand with fear. Let us attend that we may offer the holy oblation in peace. shall be with all of you. And with your spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. Let us give thanks unto the Saying, Drink of it, all of you. 
This is the blood of my New Testament, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sin. Remembering the saving commandment and all of those things which have come to pass for us, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension into heaven, the sitting at the right hand, and the second and glorious coming again. Your own, of your own, we offer unto you on behalf of all and for Praise and honor, just name 
I am thankful for everything that I received from you so far, and I am proud to say that you are my bishop and my father. Here in the U.S., I did not only meet my bishop, but I also met my beloved wife, Marina. She supported me on my way even before I met her, it seems. When we, when we met, our lives became one instantly. One life, one love, one prayer, one being. I find a great source of inspiration in my wife. In the way she serves me as her husband, I find the best example of why I should serve the others. In the way she loves me, I find the source of the divine love. She's my rock and my support. Every word, my dear wife, fails to express how much I love you and how much I'm looking forward to having you as a sojourner on this path that we both today undertake. Today, when I seek coordination, we both pledge that we will remain faithful servants of God and of our bishop. This is the pledge that is as strong as the eternal love that we have for each other. I am thankful to Mother Christophora, the abbess of this holy monastery, for giving her blessing for my ordination to take place here. To every mother and sister of this monastery, I owe gratitude for your service on this important day for me and my wife. I am also asking you please continue praying for my wife and myself the way you did so far. It is a great honor to be ordained here where my wife spent most of her childhood. Besides being thankful to Jody's family, my father, my mother, brother Milos, I'm also thankful to the Petra family, to my wife's parents, Gregory and Juliana, to John, my Shurak, that is, brother-in-law, who is serving as a subdeacon to this great city name today, and to Matos Kakoko, who is today with us. Our spiritual father, Jakob of Simonopetra, is in the spirit today with my wife and myself, and we also invoke his prayers for us and both of our families. Your Grace, let me now return to the question that you asked me at the beginning. That is, what is it that I am seeking now from your hands? With the fear of God, with faith and love towards Him who created me and sustains me, and who ignited in my heart the desire to serve as a clergyman, I bow down before His holy will for me and in front of you, my bishop, and again, I humbly answer. I seek ordination into the holy diaconate. My most cherished child, listening to the words which you have set before us on this day, and very visibly present, I may add, in their powerfulness and in their strength, because the picture is a correct one. You come today not according to your own desire, neither according to your will, nor merely my intention, but through the will of God himself. He has brought us to this very moment and to this opportunity in which we can give thanks to God and to present you as a candidate for, the, for ordination to the Holy Diaconate. In so doing, we come to understand the prayer of Christ let not my will, but your will be done. And truly, God's hand has been upon you from early childhood, as it is upon, indeed, every one of us, although you have had the exceptional blessing of being able to see it, even in your request for a piece of candy. And so perhaps God waited until this moment, as it was told at the wedding feast of Cana in Galilee, most men serve the poorer wine, the better wine first, and then the poorer wine when men have already drunk freely. But you have saved the best wine for now. And so God has saved the best piece of candy for this moment, and he has finally answered all of the missing candies in your prayer with this day. Always remember the teaching that I keep very close to my heart. From Great Father Alexander Schmen, my own spiritual father and confessor. He taught us that each and every human encounter, regardless of its length, 
for brevity, leaves its indelible mark upon our souls, and we carry that mark with us into eternity. You have rightly described your relationship with your family, with your wife, with this monastery, and also with this community. As we are taught in our theology, salvation comes from the community. As the Holy Fathers have taught us, when we gather today, as imperfect as we are, as a community of human beings, God is the one who transfigures our community, as fragile as it is, into the perfected community of his love. That is because God has promised to be present wherever two or three are gathered in his name, and God is love. And so today, you will enter into the joy of serving the Lord. You will be given the blessing of St. Stephen, who will co-celebrate with you whenever you celebrate the liturgy. And remember, something that I have set before myself, and I offer you as a piece of fatherly advice on this day, serve every single liturgy, and indeed every service, as though it were to be your first and your last. And you will never go wrong in serving the Lord. May the Lord God bless you and keep you and all of those who have gathered on this day, not merely to witness, but to participate in this holy ordination. Enter now into the joy of your Lord. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, everyone say, Amen. 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 In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
for you are our God, and to you do we ascribe glory, together with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, everyone say, Amen. 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 Holy, holy, holy Lord God of Sabaoth, heaven and earth are filled with your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Axios! 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 In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, say Amen. Amen. Your right hand, O Lord, has been glorified in power. Your right hand, O Lord, has crushed the trenchant might of your adversaries. Everyone say from all of your heart, Dostoyan. 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 And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Your hands, O Lord, have made and fashioned me. Teach me your commandments so that I may walk in the ways that you have decreed for me. Everyone say from the bottom of your heart, He is worthy. He is worthy. Oh, see, oh.
our streets for the remission of your sins and to life everlasting.
and reckon among the slaves, O most compassionate, wherefore will it be better in my soul from kindness to be born in the cave of all holy one? Christ, our King, thou art uncontainable by nature. How can a little cave receive thee? How can an angel contain thee who comes in the flesh to thine own for our sake? From my mother, who knows not my love, that thou mightest save them, they have been estranged from thee, O Lord, the shepherds, and the lamb come to give Jesus Christ. The shepherds, you lamb, have come to give birth, make ready, O holy king, make haste for shepherds, to see the newborn shepherd and lamb and magi, prepare yourselves with gifts to worship him as king in the flesh. The body and blood of our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ.
of Christ, let us give worthy thanks to the Lord. souls, that you have made us worthy this day of your heavenly and immortal mysteries. Make straight our path, strengthen us all in your fear, guard our life, make firm our steps through the prayers and intercessions of the glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary and of all of your saints. For you are our sanctification, and unto you do we ascribe glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Let us depart in the peace. Let us pray to the Lord. O Lord, bless those who bless thee and sanctify those who are trust in thee. Save thy people who bless thee and hear this visit of fullness of thy church. Sanctify those who are in the house. Glorify them in return with the divine power. I am forsaken as God of our hope in thee. Give peace to thy world, to thy churches, to thy priests, to all those in civil authority, to all thy people. For every good gift and every perfect gift is from love, coming down from the day of all our lives. On thee we ascribe glory, thanksgiving, and worship to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Now we hear and unto the ages of the age of Justin the New Philosopher, Mardani of Libertyville, Sebastian of Jackson, and of the righteous martyrs of Leon, Pontin, Alexander, Pondina, and Irene, of the holy righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all his saints. Have mercy upon us and save us, for as much as he is a good God and loves you, men The prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. In the prayers of our Holy Master, and Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us. Amen. May God grant that it be so. The blessing of God in Trinity always be with you, beloved. By the grace of the all holy and life giving spirit given to the divine disciples and apostles of Christ, from whom we also received power to grant ecclesiastical ranks and offices through the sacramental and canonical laying on of hands, we have been pleased to deem as appropriate in the Orthodox Monastery of the Transfiguration on the day of the Holy Martyr Menace 
and St. John of Serbia during the celebration of the hierarchical divine liturgy to ordain Stefan George to the rank of deacon, which we confirm in testimony by the issuance of this our hierarchical grammaton, praying that the Lord our God grant that the name will fervently labor in accordance with the grace bestowed upon him in Christ's holy vineyard and to grow in God's love according to the fullness of the measure of the stature of Christ. With arch pastoral blessings and paternal love, Irenae, Bishop of Eastern America, the Serbian Orthodox Church, given in our Episcopal See in the Gothic <coughs> City of New York on this 21st day of December in the year of our Lord 2018 and in the 13th year of our Episcopal service to the Lord. Once again, and from all of our hearts, may it be a blessing to you, and as much as it is to you, to your family, and to everyone who is here gathered, and to all of those before whom and in whose name you will minister and serve the Lord, and always serve Him with faith, reverence, and of course, most importantly, with love in your heart. <clears throat> to the newly ordained deacon Stefan, grant, O Lord, long and, long and peaceful life, health, salvation, and furtherance in all good things, and preserve him for many years. Responses rendered by your dear sisterhood. How nice it is to hear the Romanian chant transposed in the English language, but all the other Orthodox chants which you have incorporated into the worship service. Truly, I leave with a heart that is overflowing with joy in the Lord and a perfect preparation for the great feast of the Nativity of Christ according to the flesh. This day will be long seared in the memory of my heart. And I will long remember it, and it will always be with me. Stefan, once again, congratulations to you, and Marina, and to everybody. A blessing to you all well, and may it be truly a blessed and joyous celebration of Christmas Day, of the Nativity of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. that a candidate who's being ordained always wears a ring on his finger. That means that he enters the service not by himself, but together with his wife, who will serve with him.
Ray said this day is uh, burned in his heart. It's certainly burned in our hearts as well. Um, we're very thankful for the prayerful celebration of the liturgy and all of that it, 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 it entailed today, but the extra uh, blessings and joy for all of us. It's only the second ordination in our monastery, the first was to the priesthood in the early 1980s, and uh, today is the first diaconate ordination. So there's always room for new things, right? I know for the sisters it was an educational event, as for many of you, I'm sure, to witness this ordination. <coughs> we do uh, hope all of you will stay for lunch. Uh, we'll say the prayers of thanksgiving. We'll have the veneration of the cross, say the prayers of thanksgiving for Holy Communion. And then uh, please join us in the dining room for a, a nice, uh, reflective, uh, relaxing lunch. We have an early vespers today. Tomorrow is Christmas Eve. Uh, so I hope that new deacon will get a blessing from his bishop with one of these priests to serve the vespers. That's the warning that you get. Enough <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>